It's Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn. And of course, uh, Greenleaf is about to sign off. Big finale. Uh, Big man. finale. Is it, is it signing off or is it just the ending of the season? What's going on here? It is That's over. It? It's season five. Yeah. The wrap. Of- amazing yeah. shows that I watch every week, every character I know. And um, the main, the main lady of the show is right here. She is beautiful. She is talented. She is so humble and loving and giving anytime you need her. She is right there for you. She's so beautiful. Hey, Meryl. Meryl Dandridge. <laughs> I miss you, baby. I miss you too. Uh, the last time I saw you, I think you uh, were so generous when I was throwing that surprise party for Deborah Joy, and you came right. and you were like, "I'm here for my lady." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we were booty shaking and dancing up on the table. Okay. Right. As long as y'all were not <laughs> whapping, a whopping, or whatever the hell that name of the song is. No, the wha- whap, oh, no whopping. Oh, God. The whop? We want to talk no. about the whopping? No. No, please don't. Oh, my God. No. Have you heard no. it? No. 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 What about this? And, uh, l- ladies and gentlemen, you know him as an NBA great. He's also on Greenleaf, actor himself, the one and only Rick Fox. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> How you guys We're- been? All Bro? right. Yeah, all right. Hey, Rick, how you doing? Hey. How you doing? How you? Oh, this Rick. See, now we're going to get confused with the so Rick. We, we got Rick Party yeah. and Rick Fox. Okay. Yeah, Rick Party okay. and Rick Fox. There you go. Hi, well, Rick so, Hi, Rick Fox. How are you? How are you, Merle? How are you? Good. So how 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 um, have you all been doing, man, in this uh, this COVID quarantine? Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's something new, right? And and we're all sitting in place and having to check out these new cycles. And, and I think it's been a really galvanizing time in which, um, you know, everybody's being forced to really pay attention to what's going on. And yeah. also, uh, they've been able to really enjoy this last run of Greenleaf. You know, we've been able to have the time to sit in place and really connect with people. How about mm-hmm. you, Rick Fox? Um- yeah, I've worked more than I thought I would work in in uh, quarantine. Right. It is what you make of it, right? Um, I've definitely watched um, more t- more more series and television than I would probably no- normally get the time to watch. But I spent a ton of time with my kids. Uh, Rick and Sasha is kind of my life. My little girl's name is Sasha. So, I know. Um, How about that? Yeah, um, and so we've spent a ton of time together. Um, All you need so- is one name, George. Go ahead, have one yeah. call, Rick. <laughs> And my son George. <laughs> well, we'll adopt him. Him. You you my son now. <laughs> the family. Uh, yeah, so we've done a lot of father uh, daughter time, a lot of time with my son working out, uh, and then just some of the business ventures that you can get started in uh, time off has been it's been good too. Rick, how old are your children now? Because they're not little babies anymore. No, no they're not. Um, my son's twenty five years old, mm. and my daughter Sasha's twenty. She's in. Oh, we just say okay, yeah. okay, okay. Y'all are saying what? Age, shut up, George. <laughs> oh my God, this country has what? gone through a, a through a lot lately. How, how have you all been adjusting with that? Trying to keep keep up with what's going on in the White House and still being on the field, acting every day. Meryl, hmm? mm-hmm. you, what you think? You better what? fight, Meryl. Come on, man. yeah, man. I I had to get out there to a couple of those protests, yep. and, and I I think it's a, a particularly um, important time to use your voice, use your platform. And, um, it, and in the midst of it as well, though, I think that it has changed, especially as an artist, what we're doing with our downtime, you know, that, that we are, um, what we're writing, what we're, what we're putting out into the world, that there's a new kind of, uh, ferocity and intentionality in it. And I just, I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Rick? It's a definite, um, time of uh, consciousness, for sure. Um, the attention to to what is happening in the world, let alone in our country, right? And, and, and all the way down to our communities, every time we turn the, the news on, um, the flow of, of, of energy is has such a high intensity and negativity and finding a, a way to stay grounded, stay positive, uh, be of service, uh, be of light to each other in a time that appears to be, you know, darker and darker by the day. Um, there's a lot of suffering. There's a lot of suffering. There's a lot of uh, suffering that's been 
there on the surface um, that is mm -hmm. really impacting us in a, in a massive way. Um, it's forcing us to be proactive. And I don't know how you sit on the sidelines and, and, and not have uh, a voice in these moments. And so, you know, whenever I've had a chance to sit with Merle and just talk about uh, the world as is and, and the importance of the community that is so important to us and how how we move forward in, in the world, especially here in the United States, but in the world, the fact that this message is taken, uh, taken uh, center stage, we have to keep it, you know, we have to keep it in the forefront of everyone's mind, not only going forward just to November, but, but how we improve uh, relations, how we improve our lives, how we improve our communities is something that it takes, takes unity. It takes a group, not just individuals. And, and that's why I, I love, I love what I've seen, but it takes a lot of rocket fuel. So we have to be, people with voices like yours and ours have to be rocket fuel uh, for the yeah. energy to keep going. That's what you do. That's, that's, that's the person that you've always been. You know, if you don't know anything about him and how he basically has galvanized an entire community, you know, get, giving these young men and women in the esports scene, um, letting them be seen and heard and and also embracing everything that they are. and and for something that might have been more on the margins, he's put it right in the mainstream. And I think that is really, really powerful uh, model and lesson that everybody can can learn from, that your gifting is your ministry and you, and you really lift people up and make them celebrate themselves, which is awesome. Yeah. And how about Greenleaf is on own and what Oprah's done, Sasha? Oh, my I God. Mean, what she's amazing. been doing yeah. around the country. Uh, well, just with her platform, her magazine. This yeah. was the first time ever that she put somebody else on her magazine and she put right. Breonna Taylor. Then yeah. she got billboards oh, all over the country. Oh, yes. Let's Absolutely. talk about Oprah, y'all. What do you think about Oprah? She did that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean just being Oprah, I mean, what was your feeling? Because every I, I hear this all the time when they meet her for the first time. It's like, oh, my God, Oprah. OK, did y'all have that? Oh, my God moment. You know, Rick, were you like there with your legs crossed? Like, oh, Jesus. And Meryl, was it like, oh, he's look. probably known Oprah all his life. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell the truth. Did you know Oprah all your life? Uh, I, I have not known Oprah all my life. Okay. Right. But in a past life, yes, for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, so you was with her. How was it? It was it was com it was comfortable. It was com I did actually with Merle. Um, oh no. Yeah. Um we when we were doing a Greenleaf event here in LA, um, we got a chance down at uh, I think it was the London, maybe it was that hotel. Mm -hmm. um, we got a chance to spend some time and she cuts right to the chase, you know, she cuts right through uh and, and gets to gets to wanting to connect on a real level. Uh, and I think that's what her gift is. Her gift is really, you know, really reaching in and and bringing out the authenticity in a, in a in a in a connection, the time spent together, and and so it just felt easy. It felt comfortable. It's been an honor to work with not only Merle and and Oprah, uh, but the whole entire cast. I've I've grown as a as a human being. I've grown as an as an artist, and uh, and I miss it. I miss it. I wish um, I wish it had never ended. Wow. You know what though? Like Oprah was all about she she sees things right from the jump, and you know we're seeing all of this really great Grace and Darius love, but she saw it from the from the jump, and she hollered yeah. it right away. She was like, "I saw all I I saw the scenes with Grace and Darius, and it is wonderful." Like she was wow. all um, wow, and very supportive. Yeah. And That's cool. That wow. it was going to you know really turn into something and and then of course it did and he was a series regular the next season which was you know first time ever uh, wow you know, it was i'd been acting for 20 something years you know and to actually have oprah hand me hand me mm. the, the you know the privilege and honor to be a part of her show in a series regular role i mean I, i'll never forget it it was it was the first time i felt that i'd actually arrived as an actor to be nice to be trusted with a character entrusted to join or an already successful show uh, that had gotten out of the gates the way it had. And I think it had to pick of the litter. It really could have gone, Merle could have signed off, I'm sure on any other actor uh, to work with, uh, but really, really trusted me to be a part of the team. And uh, and that's a gift I, I'm grateful for and I'll always cherish. 
Well, you know, um, you, you might have felt like that was uh, <laughs> that was your calling and your moment of success. But like I said earlier, we have watched you, man, you know, really hone your craft as an actor, man. And, and no one gave you anything, man. You you really have earned your stripes and your chops, man. It's it's a pleasure. I don't and I'm a huge sports fan. I never yeah. I, haven't, I haven't seen Rick Fox in anything i've seen the actor that you know and whatever those characters that you portray man and that's a real testament to to how hard you worked i guess is as hard as you worked on the court you you worked on 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 your craft as an actor man and that and that shows i have a story you can, can i can i jump absolutely. in absolutely please tell us the story okay so the thing about the thing about rick fox is that he's always going to be like he's he's got that champion mentality right and so he knows how to get to get people to a place to win. And I took on a summer job, okay? And uh, because Rick knows his stuff, like he studies, he does his his work and you know, it's not like, uh, he's he's one of those actors that really works on their craft. Like Mm -hmm. he he puts into everything. So I was on my very first multicam sitcom and I was in foreign territory. I didn't know what to do, I was, I was like, uh, and, and he was like, all right, this is what you do. And then you do this, and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> all the way to the place. Wow. And it, if the show had continued, like they were writing my character bigger and bigger all the time. And he put that winning mentality into me. So wow. that, that's what he brought to Greenleaf. Wow. Can I tell you what I see though? And Meryl, I'll tell you, you know, I'd be texting like, girl, <laughs> like behind the scenes, that you're really close. That's that's what I see. Oh, me, me and Rick Fox. Yes. Oh. Like you're oh. really family. You, Rick, you you got her back. You're mm-hmm. gonna make sure she's good, Merle. Mm-hmm. You're gonna do the same thing for him. I I see that. Mm-hmm. Well, because they have to. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're working together. You have to know the person you're working with, right? But it's not always it's, like that. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. But no, it's it helps it helps um, if you can get there, but it is not always like that. And right, right. No, I agree. Totally. Yeah. It's it's values and and values have to line up off set to you know to yeah. really to really create a friendship and and to really root for each other outside you know our careers on that sure. set. We have a job to do yeah. there, but but um, you know that's Merle's. If you guys know Merle, I mean, the easiest person to to hope. Uh, will we'll shine her light on you beyond yeah, absolutely beyond your workspace, and um, she's been such a, a anchor for me just in friendship. And Merle, I know I hope you know that you know that um, um, you've guided me through a lot of different things in my life, so I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a gift when you get it. It's what it's what made going to work so easy, which made I think it made bringing these characters to life um, easy easier than it normally is. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely makes. Any kind of uh, uncomfortable um, love scenes easier because oh, well, I wanted to talk about that, but go yeah, ahead. Those, those things, those things aren't always as. Easy. No man, <laughs> let me tell you about that. Yeah. Let's talk, let's get into it. All yeah, right? Let's get into it. I want to talk yeah. about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love scenes <laughs> because <laughs> normally what you get is um, you get. Uh, very specific. Here's the beat. Here's the yeah. beat. here's the beat. You know, and it's choreographed. And as women, we're we're often um, it's a very vulnerable place to be in on set with a lot of mostly men around. Yeah. You know, and and to be in different um, levels of undress. And the script said sex exclamation Ooh. part. <laughs> so we give you and so yeah. sex. Yeah, wow. it, was, um, it was scary and uncomfortable. And Rick had my back. Like he made sure that I was always covered. He made you nice. know, and and you know, perfect gentleman. And it and I probably would not have. I almost had a panic attack about it. Like it was really? so. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. and so you you want to have a teammate that's going to help you get through those things and make sure that that you feel. Um, Safe. Comfortable, yeah, That's comfortable, so, yeah, yeah. Rick, okay, I already love Meryl, but Rick, I just fell in love with you, okay? Oh, no, so. oh you've been in love with Rick, don't I you? have, but go here. <laughs> <laughs> I just fell in love with I, you. I've had, uh, I, I think I'm back to some of those, and I'm, I'm sure our our scenes or some of our scenes weren't our, weren't your first, but um, it is when I was 
first getting started and would have uh, sex scenes or love scenes, uh, you can you can you can tell how how stressful it is for for an actor or an actress in those situations because a you want it to look good, you want it to be right, you know that the end yeah. product is something that's going to be on camera for the rest of your life, and and like as Merle said, I mean you're talking to back ten years ago, your set would have thirty yeah. people on it. 25 people on it. Yeah. Right. Most of back. those men. Yeah, exactly. So for the ladies in in, in those situations, I I, I commend I commend their, you know, them to, to even have the courage to even do something like that because it's it's not easy. Yeah, it's been hard for me moments. when I do sex scenes, man. It's very difficult. You know, <laughs> I found it very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> and that's you know, what you that's why, sacrifice. Thank you. I did. <laughs> I, I made I made the sacrifice. You know, a, a lot of times they you know they hadn't wrote they hadn't written the, the scenes in there, and I kind of improv them, so that made yeah. it uncomfortable a little bit too. And so that's why I had to stop the porn business. I, right. It wasn't oh, oh, God. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, yeah. I guess I guess that is film too, right? right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the funnest moments what, what are y'all going to miss most about the show oh man uh well can i let you think for a second merle since you probably have five years worth of, of thinking to there uh with memories um for me it's it's watching the cast uh and crew either in the in the makeup and, and hair trailer before we go to sets or or in downtime at lunches <laughs> or or out in you know just out in some location or hanging around the trailers uh where where you know at times on sets you can get stir crazy and the laughter that ensues and the inside jokes and and the fun um it, it, you that's that's the bonding i i miss from my nba days of being you know in a locker room or on a, on a plane or right. card games you know the things that you do to pass the time that really bond you for life and you know five years merle's had five years merle so i'm sure you have a ton of those memories mm -hmm. speaking of which do you remember the first time we ever played spades on set the first time yeah, we're we were the theater. and we ran a boston right yes, yeah. girl. The first hand. Yes. you remember that yes, I, do. Like, oh, I do that's what's up that's what's up um no my my big takeaway is um that not only the way that people have connected with the characters and with the story and seen themselves, but that it is cross-cultural uh, lines and people, and it has a universality to it. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the confidence that I gained over five years, um, mm -hmm. this experience has been above and beyond expectation of my life. And, you know, for, as a woman of faith, Shame on me for not believing in what great things God can do. But right. now, moving forward, I, I will never, ever doubt what the Lord is going to do in my life. And I will never, ever doubt um, how he can turn something completely around. And, and I'm speaking to our, our circumstance right now and everything that we're going through. Um, but that we were able to head on and some and some of these issues ahead of our of the time ahead of the time that we're in that we put our foot right in into the mud we were able to till the soil that had been kind of cemented over and that we were able to um, produce new fruit and a new harvest. Mm -hmm. And I am so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for what it has done for the culture. I'm so grateful for what it has done in my life, the people that it has brought into my life. And um, it, it's a, a tremendous thing, but Greenleaf never leaves me. It will always be with me no matter what. All right, Grace and Darius, listen, listen here, okay? I'm really upset the show's leaving. Just, just, just say yes or no. All right, is there is there going to be a funeral? Is there a funeral? I can't tell you that. Okay, is there going right. to be a is there, is there going to be a wedding? I can't tell you that. Is somebody going to have Will another there be baby? A spin off. A spin off. Sure. Yeah, spin off in the works. Oh, yes. it's, a spin -off. it's a spin off. That I can't tell you. Yes. And then that spinoff, is there a black comedian about 45, 50 years old with a bright smile? <laughs> and will there be a Rick and Sasha and not Rick Fox's children? <laughs> so great. There's going to be a spinoff. Awesome. That is, And why did they 
the show is just so great and the, the ratings are so phenomenal five seasons why, that's why what stop? they want but why? five seasons that's what oprah wants in all of these projects is what we're why? hearing from all these other people is that what you all knew going in that it was it's going to be five and that's what they kind of really was looking for no we did not know that but i i i, I am i think that people are going to have a sense of satisfaction with the way that it does come to a close. Okay. Yeah. I right. guess. I, well, 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 I can tell you, the. I'm not ready for the funeral, child. It's the, I don't know what I'm going to do. Lord <laughs> Jesus. I see how you came through the back door with that. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so today is Tuesday. Right? Today, today is Tuesday. Tuesday. It's it's Tuesday. Tonight. tonight is the finale. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, we say man. goodbye to you all. <sighs> oh, oh, my God. gosh. And I'm I'm well, just so grateful for every second of it. And and Sasha, thank you for being such a sister to me during these times, and and it's such a blessing to my life. You know, we're we're also in that time where we build each other up, and I'm yes. so grateful to have that with you. Yeah. you. I don't know what it was about you, Merle. I remember when when Sasha first met you, she's like, "Come and stay over my house. Come on." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. I mean, we were sisters right from the jump. Yeah, from I mean, we were supposed house, to take yeah. our girlfriend's trip, but we couldn't because it's all this happened. But you know, we have a plenty of time, and you just always know, young lady, whatever you need, I got you. Okay, oh. and I appreciate that you are there for me. I really mm -hmm. do. And Rick Fox, this is my first time meeting you. I got you too. Okay. Oh, it won't be the oh. last. <laughs> well, Rick, are you married? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, and Meryl's not. Sasha either. is, Rick, no, unfortunately. Meryl's not. And I'm just telling you that. Oh, I'm, you, I'm you, you know, wait, wait, wait. Did you just look at, did you see Meryl's expression right now? Meryl <laughs> had the same expression when, when, when that, when that, I can't remember who the guest was, and she said, You two like each other. We looked at like. Look, this, uh, I, look, I'm just saying. Look, look, my sister. look on camera, yeah. you guys do a phenomenal job. You Thank already you. have a beautiful friendship. And your your fans think y'all are together. Anyway, I'm just saying, is anything going on? Enjoy your single oh, lives, okay? Enjoy, enjoy your single, single lives, guys. guys. Please. I'm not going to get that answer. Merle Dandridge, Rick Fox, <laughs> Green Leaf tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Merle, yes or no? <laughs> Rick. Merle, yes or no? Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Wait a minute. Hold you on. better say something. Hold on. 